Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to take the example that we created last time and actually turn it into a comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide this to you and I already provided this scene to you via GitHub. So just stay tuned because I'm going to be pushing the changes that we do in this session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this scene because I'm going to create a new scene for you. So let's go into scenes and I'm going to change this one to VFX1. Let me expand everything, make sure that I also have VFX1 in there. And I'm going to duplicate this scene and I'm going to create VFX2. Just double click it and I'm going to rename the game object to VFX underscore 2. The, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into visual effects and I'm going to duplicate this object as well. It's going to be VFX2. Let's go back into the game object inspector and associate it with the correct visual effect. Perfect. Okay, so now let's click on edit, which is going to open the visual effects graph. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be changing a lot of these, meaning that I won't change the structure. We will be changing some of the values and possibly some of the components on the very bottom. So what I want to do first is I'm going to leave this pan as it is. And the capacity on the initialization is going to change from that long number to 1500. And then just hit enter. Then everything else here, it's going to stay the same. I'm going to leave the position as sphere surface. And then span mode is going to be randomized. We're still going to have the center on YB 2.04. And the arc and radius are going to stay the same. I'm also going to leave the lifetime random on the minimum one and then the maximum is going to be three now on the on the update we're also going to be making some changes so i want to change the data encoding from on sign normalized to sign and you can kind of see that right off the bat that's actually changing to look more like a comment then the mode we're going to leave it in relative i'm also going to use the vector field as it is i'm not going to change that and if expand the field transform, I'm going to leave 222 on XYZ for the size. The intensity is also going to stay at 12 and also the drag is going to stay at, at 1. So I'm going to make one change in here. I'm actually going to console, clear the error. Once in a while you get errors with visual effects graph. I'm hoping Unity fixes those problems. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new, a new node. So this new node is going to be a different type. It's actually going to be, so if you go to context, and we're going to use a lead mess out, output. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to leave, I'm going to use all of these components. So we're still going to use the set size. So I'm going to drag it and drop it there. We're also going to use the, the orient, which is going to orient the mesh along the velocity. We're also going to use the set scale and also the color on the very bottom is going to stay the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete the quad output and I'm going to drag and drop the particle to the lift mesh output. And we're going to review some of these changes and you can kind of see that we're already getting, getting some changes. And if I go, I'm going to just drag it, put it in place. Let's do some rearrangement here so that we can see everything in just one, just in one view. Perfect. And in fact, we can probably just move this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blame mode from alpha to alpha pre-multiply. Pre and perfect. Let's just wait until it compiles. Then I'm also going to change the capsule from a capsule to a box, basically a cube. And I'm going to check the use of particles. Excellent. And let's just wait until everything compiles. I'm also going to bring the smoothness down and also the metallic down. Perfect. So I'm going to change the default particle and I'm just going to use the default checker. 
So the size is going to change a little bit. I'm going to just do 0.15, maybe 0.5, just to not make it too, too small. Then the scale of X, I'm actually going to remove that component. So let's get rid of that component. You kind of see that we're already getting, we're already getting some changes. And the mesh actually should be cube, no capsule. Okay, perfect. That's what I want it to look like. And then now let's bring this number down. Perfect. So now we can kind of see that we're getting something that looks a little bit like a comet. Perfect. And I want to have the orient along the velocity set to along velocity. So that's perfect. And I'm going to be making some changes to the color here. So what I'm going to do is this yellow, I'm going to set it to black. And this is the look and feel that I that I like. You can probably pick what you like. And let's see, let's just do Y on the very. I'm just going to make some changes in here until I'm happy with, with what I see. And let's see. I can probably do something like that works. And Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with those with those changes. Okay, excellent. So let me go and resize and move this a little bit actually, so that we we get it right where perfect. And let me just resize this the game view. And I'm just gonna clear this. Okay, excellent. So. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak it in just a bit, a little bit more. And so we can actually just rename this one to comment. It makes more sense if we do that. Then I'm just going to duplicate it. And this one is going to be called stars. Perfect. And I already created a stars visual effect, which I'm going to bring in from my computer. And you're also going to have that available to you. I'm just going to drag it and drop it into visual effects, go into stars and then associate the template to that. You kind of see that we're starting to see something and then it goes away and that's because I need to make another change. So I'm gonna go into stars and I'm also going to modify the blame mode on stars to addictive. You kind of see that that is starting to get some motion. It's starting to look pretty cool. And I'm going to change the direction of the, of the comment because if you look at Stars are going down and this is going in the opposite direction. That doesn't really look realistic. So I'm just going to move it manually. And we can move it, we can move it up. And right about, right about there looks really cool. Okay, it's perfect. So I think I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. Let's go into the, let's see, let's go into the lighting and increase the intensity just a tiny bit, maybe, maybe eight. Looks fine and perfect. I think I'm like I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is let's add some post-processing effects so these we can give these a little more, more I guess coolness if that's the word. So I'm gonna go into my main camera and then in the main camera I'm gonna add a couple of components. I'm gonna add the post-process layer and also I'm also gonna add the post-process volume. I'm going to make this global and on the profile I'm going to click on new which is going to create a new profile and the layer I'm going to set it to everything even though it's not recommended for or seen right now I think I'm, I'm fine doing that and I think all of that looks great and let's go let's go back into comment and move it I'm not pretty I'm not 100% happy of how it looks okay there we go so that looks a lot better. Now, a couple of things that we can do in here is we can we can start playing with some of these effects. So I'm gonna add a bloom, and you're gonna see how the bloom is gonna affect some of the bigger stars. So if I change the intensity, you can kind of see it's actually looking really cool. So you're starting to see some bloom right here, and also some of the some of the stars are getting some bloom. And we can we can probably do something like that. I think that that works um, right about there then the other thing that we can add is I'm gonna add another component 
we can either add a green, we can add motion blur. So I'm going to add a Vignetti. Let's do that one. And then I'm going to enable the classic and change the intensity. And we can kind of see we're starting to get some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the color too. And I, I don't want it to, let's see, I don't really want it to cover because this doesn't look realistic. No, I just want it to be a little bit darker on the edges. Okay, perfect. Actually, you're not gonna, let's see. Let's make it a little lighter. Okay, perfect. I don't think that did that much to the scene. I'm still gonna have it. And let's go back into Bloom and just lower it, lower it a little bit. And I'm just gonna, it's actually looking really cool. You kind of see the big netting around this area. The, the other effect that we can add is, let me collapse the bloom and add a chromatic a variation, if I'm saying it correctly. And we can change the intensity here. And you can kind of see that's actually giving it a really cool look right on the right on the edges. I think the intensity is just too high. Uh, let's do something like that, I think will work. Let's do 0.3. And I think that covers it. Let me, yeah, I think that looks really good. So that's basically what I wanted to show you how to create a comment. I am going to do more videos like this about visual effects. There's some other effects that I've been experimenting with that I want to share with you guys. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to be pushing this code to GitHub and putting the link in the description of this video. So also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that's going to allow me to create videos like this and better videos like this. So thank you very much guys and let me know if you guys have any questions.